Hello guys, welcome to Everything with Lerji and welcome to Day 92 of 100 Days 100 Concepts. Today in this video, we'll discuss about super plasticity. So what is super plasticity? So basically in the name itself, you can able to figure out super plasticity is nothing but the ability of any particular material to withstand very large deformations. Okay. Super plasticity is the ability to withstand very large deformations. Now, how much is this very large deformation? Usually, people say around 100 to 1000 percentage of its initial length. Okay, that means the material should be able to at least deform by 100 percentage strain, right? We call them as super plasticity. Now, Whenever we talk about any kind of properties, we always try to relate with the structure. Okay, say for example, if you want to uh, relate elastic modulus and the nature of a material, we say that okay, fine. There may be some hard face, hard microstructure. Okay, which is uh, let's say martensite. Okay, then we say that okay, fine. My overall material is brittle, so the Young's modulus will be very high. So usually at the end of the day, what people do. Is try to relate the structure and the property of the material that's what we call structure property correlations now let's do the same thing here for super plasticity right let me just do this yeah cool so super plasticity uh, usually requires you know some basic conditions so that a material can actually be super plastic in nature okay so let's discuss about those conditions okay so number one is very high strain rate sensitivity okay so basically if you remember we have strain rate sensitivity to be m okay so basically we have uh, m to be equal to log of sigma 2 by sigma 1 divided by log of strain rate 2 by strain rate 1 this is my strain rate sensitivity and we require very good amount of strain rate sensitivity in order to actually you know uh, help for super plastic nature and definitely a higher temperature usually we say greater than 0.5 times the melting point should be the temperature so that you know uh, more slip systems may be activated and more deformation may take place and also we actually talk about fine grains okay which are uh, usually less than 10 micrometer less than 10 micrometer uh, grains also help for super plasticity okay not only that uh, we also need to discuss about this guy okay so if you carefully see we are telling that high m is actually desired so the strain rate sensitivity should be what low okay sorry the strain rate should be low so require low strain rates okay obviously if you are increasing strain rates okay what is strain rate strain rate is nothing but if i want to write strain rate it is nothing but the change in strain with respect to time the rate of change of strain with respect to time is nothing but the strain rate and if you carefully see if strain rate increases what is happening the strain that you are applying on the body is actually not able to distribute evenly throughout the material why because the time is very less okay? that is why high strain rates are usually used in our impact testings okay where you see brittle kind of um, you know failures right so from here you can also say uh, we also have one more relation to explain the sigma is equal to c into epsilon i mean the strain rate power m okay so even from here you can see if the strain rate is less what is happening the flow stress required for deformation is also less okay so because of low strain rates low flow stress is also possible and also if there are some second phase particles okay if there are some second phase particles because we are talking about some higher temperature we have to actually resist grain growth okay so this is actually resisting 
the green growth right fine so the second phase particles usually disperse words which we say provide some important creep resistance so that there won't be any green growth okay so all these are important uh, features to explain about super plasticity right so this is about uh, super plasticity i hope you like this video and if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and also do visit everythingmetallurgy.com our live classes are starting from february 10th and uh, if someone wants to enroll under us you can dm us and uh, you know get to know more details about it so that's it from this video thank you guys